welcome friends today's topic is refraction of light at curved surface on that uh, i would like to explain the example 6 so in the example 6 what is the data given for us is an electric lamp and a screen are placed on the table in a line at a distance of 1 meter that means distance given for us in between the uh, lamp and also the screen in what positions of convexions of focal length of the, the focal length of the convex lens also given for us that is f equals to 21 centimeters okay what he was asked is in what position of the convex lens we will get the image of the lamp sharp okay regarding that one just i would like to uh, first i would like to draw the diagram okay it's very simple diagram i want to uh, draw that that means uh, lamps like that i won't draw just i will show you the rough diagram okay so this is the table on this table okay we kept the bulb this is the bulb okay we have placed that one and at a particular particular distance so this is the convex lens convex lens means it has the arrows are outwards okay and here i have placed some screen this is a screen here i am observing the image our, our condition is we have to observe that image of the screen should be uh, uh, image of the lamp lamp should be sharp okay regarding that one first uh, what he has given is distance between the lamp this is the lamp this is the lamp this is the screen this is the screen this is the convex lens this is convex lens okay the distance between the bulb to the screen given that one i am saying has d that one i am saying as d and the distance between the lamp to the the distance between the lamp to the uh, convex lens where we have to calculate we don't know okay where we have to that one i am saying as x suppose if we take from uh, lamp to the screen distance is d and the object distance is s then the distance between the convex lens to the screen uh, the total length is d d minus x it is the length of the or uh, distance uh, distance of the image that means image distance there is image distance okay that means here we have to calculate that those are things that means here object distance is u equals to minus x minus x and image distance b equals to d minus x and focal length given for us that is uh, focal length given for us f equals to 21 centimeters 21 centimeters and also what he has given is d value also given d equals to how much given is 1 meter that equals to we have to convert this meter into the centimeters that's why 100 centimeters then what he was asked how much distance that means x equals to how much he was asked what is the formula we have actually we have the formula 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to 1 by f this is the formula we have we know the value of v in terms of distance and x and we know the value of u in x only f value only we know now we have to substitute all those values into this equation 1 by v 1 by v means in, instead of v what we can write is d minus x d minus x minus minus 1 by u 1 by u means 1 by u which is equals to x u which is equals to x that's why minus of minus plus 1 by x equals to 1 by 1 by f okay initially we have to write that one like this now we have to uh, take take the lcm of that one suppose if we take the lcm of that one x into d minus x equal x into d minus x that means uh, x into d minus x by x that means x plus d minus x d minus x equals to 1 by f x x cancel suppose if x x cancel therefore 1 by f equals to 1 by f equals to what we can get is d by d by x d multiplication 
xd minus x square xd minus x square now we will do the cross multiplication that implies what we can get is minus xd minus x square xd minus x square equals to fd that implies if we take them that side what we can get is minus x square becomes plus x square minus xd becomes oh, sorry xd becomes minus xd or dx or dx and whatever the term here that that should be same like that fd equals to zero suppose if you observe this one it is like a second order equation that means it is a it is a quadratic equation it is a quadratic equation actually quadratic e equations they are having the two solutions they are having the two solutions the formula for that one is actually uh, in your mathematics you will get the equation quadratic equation is like this ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero then if you want to calculate the x that is the formula is x equals to minus b plus or minus a, uh, b square minus 4ac 4ac by 2a b square minus 4ac by 2a this is the solution that means it gives the two values it gives the two values for us okay uh, by using that one if we uh, write here x equals to x equals to minus b minus of minus b instead of minus b here minus d is there that means uh, that means minus of minus plus and plus or minus plus or minus square root of square root of b square so in the place of b in the place of b minus d is there that means minus d square minus d square minus minus 4 into a a in the place of a nothing is there means 1 that means 4 into 1 and c in the place of c that is ft by 2 into a that means 2 therefore x equals to what we got here is d plus or minus square root of d square minus 4 fd by 2 okay this is the x value we got okay here we know the value of d we know the value of d and f value also we know and d value also we know we have to substitute all all these values that means f value and d value we will get the x values okay uh, that means x equals to d in the place of d we have to substitute 100 plus or minus so first we can take the plus plus first we can take the plus and square root of uh, d means 100 square d means 100 square minus 4 into f which is equals to 21 21 into 100 100 divided by 2 100 divided by 2 suppose if we calculate this okay uh, the continuation step i am writing here so x equals to 100 plus 100 plus square root of square root of if we take in that 100 as a common 100 as a common 100 100 minus 421s are 421s are 41s are 4 and 42s are 8 that means 84 whole divided by whole divided by 2 that implies x equals to 100 plus 100 this one we can write as a 10 square that is 10 square into 10 square into 16 whole divided by 2 that implies x equals to 100 plus 10 square Okay, 10 square means 110 came outside into root 16 root 16 means 4 whole by 2 that equals to 100 plus 10 fours are 40 by 2 that implies x equals to 140 divided by 2 that equals to 70 centimeters okay maybe 70 centimeters first here we have taken the plus symbol suppose if we take the negative symbol that means minus that means x equals to d minus square root of d square minus 4 fd by d square minus 4 fd by 2 which is equals to d equals to 100 minus same that means 100 square minus 4 into 21 into 100 uh, divided by whole by 2 
that implies that implies x equals to what we can get is 100 minus 100 minus from both two if we take it as a 100 as a common 100 same uh, 100 minus 80 for 100 minus 84 whole divided by 2 that implies x equals to that implies x equals to 100 minus or uh, this is 10 square that means suppose if you want I will write one more step that is 100 square means suppose if we take that 100 outside so regarding that one uh, we have to write like this 10 square into 16 whole divided by 2 that implies x equals to 100 minus 10 square means 10 if it came outside for 16 we can write that one as a 4 square that means 4 by 2 that implies x equals to x equals to 100 minus 40 divided by 2 uh, that equals to 100 minus 40 that equals to 100 minus 40 means it is 60 divided by 2 therefore x equals to 60 by 2 means 30 centimeters so out of these two 70 centimeters and 30 centimeters so 30 centimeters is close that's why uh, image of the lamp we can observe nearly by the 30 centimeters that is maybe 25 centimeters thank you